Yeah, move over, you guinea pig. Oh, I get this much of the bed. Oh my God, you skinny little. We well, ain't getting too skinny anymore, you little chunky muck son of a bitch. Oh my God. Hit it. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another unboxing from Laser Everything. You know me, I'm Alex. This is Jimmy. Hi guys. And today we've got the Offero Laser 2. And I'm really excited to get into this. Would you like to do the honor, sir? Absolutely. All right, get it open. Let's get this thing unboxed. Good foam right off the bat. Mm -hmm. The manual. Yep, user manual. What do we got inside? English. English, that's a plus. Nice, colored pictures. Yep, so we've got a kind of a parts list here. All right, so uh, not much of a user manual, but there it is. And here is the box. Here's all the different parts that we've got to uh, take a look at today. So what do we got there? Uh, USB. USB, yep, so USB cable, cool. That is the uh, some kind of motor supply cable. Yeah, for the to the for the stepper. To, yep, to the yep, stepper. Cool, cool. Mm, we're gonna put some glasses. Nice. Yeah. So first of all, on the glasses, there's no markings. We kind of talked about this with the X tool. There's no rating for the wavelength that it's supposed to block. Like the X tool, this is a visible light laser, so it's not that hard to block with a color tint, but. I would still feel better if I got a better pair. There are free mascots available to those who don't have a giant budget. So if you wanna take a look at the free mascots, feel free to take a look at those. We have a link to them on the buying guide. It's lasereverything.net slash buying guide or a pair of the KTIs by No IR, which are excellent for the 455 nanometer wavelength. So uh, yeah, glasses we got there. What's included in the accessories kit? What do we have in here? So zip ties for cable management, mm -hmm. a brush for probably cleaning the rails, yep. right? And some test materials. So aluminum business card and some different some pieces of wood. Different pieces of wood there. Uh, this is our focal the gauge. Wrench. Yep. Yep. For focus. Definitely don't want to lose that. Wrench and screws. Everything's got to come out first. Here's a rail. Good tension, it feels like, on the belt. Yep. So that should be like out of the box, ready to go. The X tool definitely felt like it needed to be tensioned a little bit out of the box. This one feels really tight already. Same thing here, good tension. Yep, nice. And we have, the, the rails are actually, they're marked down, which is gonna be important when we are putting it together. Constructing it, yeah. Yep. So we're definitely gonna wanna keep an eye on that. Anything else notable? We've got our wheels on here. That's pretty smooth, give that a, give that a push. Yeah, so that's that feels nice. good. Yep, just a simple aluminum frame. I don't feel any plastic pieces, do you? Nope. Yep, so uh, all metal aluminum frame, really nice. Power cord. Just another one of the uh, the axis Things arms there. there, yep. It's packaged, nice. Yeah, it's definitely tight packaging for sure. So you don't see this too often, but they actually used anti-static bag packaging to pack the motherboard in. Yep. And so the motherboard is inside this area back here. So it is indeed a uh, 455 nanometer uh, blue light diode laser. Your maximum power depends on the module that you have. I believe we got the 10 watt today. So the uh, maximum power on that is 10,000 milliwatts or 10 watt max luminous power on that guy right there. So uh, that's, that's your motherboard. And we have some more stepper driver connectors there or stepper motor connectors there. And then we got, looks like one more rail. We got this. Uh, this is a focal stick for when we're using the cutting head. It's a different focus height than when we're using just the regular one, yeah. The other rail. Yep, the other rail, nice. And that belt feels good on that one. Oh yeah. And uh, I think that's about it, guys. Really simple. It's meant to be an intro laser. So it's not, there's not a million things in this box. It's not super fancy on the packaging. This is like one of their entry level units. Looks like Jimmy's found Jimmy's found the diode here. Uh, again, came in anti-static packaging, which is really nice. And what module did they send us? Ah, this is the LU2-2. So, okay, so this actually isn't the 10 watt module. This module is the 2-2, kind of hard to find actually. Uh, and what the 2-2 is, is a fairly weak beam. Uh, I believe this one is only, let's see if it's listed on here. It's one, okay, so it's 1.6 watts. Okay, so this is even weaker 
than the five watt module, but the dot size is incredibly small. So if you're patient and you have a lot of time, you'll Turn be able that. to get really, good, really, good, really good. detailed yep. stuff with this because it's so low powered. So this is actually really cool. I asked them specifically to send this to me. I didn't think it'd be coming with this unit, but I'm glad that they did because now we'll be able to test the limits and actually compare some of these diode modules. So we've got most of the Alfero Laser 2 kit out here on the table, but I actually have a couple more things I wanna open really quick that are directly related to this. So I'm gonna go grab them, hold on. So when I brought Chris the Alfero Laser 1, I gave him my 2-4 units, both the LF and the SF. So we have those in here as well as an extra module. So I thought we would just take a minute and unbox those. Focal stick? Focal stick, yep. Nice, so that's our 2-4 short focus. So this is the 5.5 watt beam, and uh, this is for detail engraving. It's not gonna be as detailed as the 2-2, but it's more detailed than the LF, which is for cutting. Yep. So also included with this diode module, what else did we have? We had our focal stick. Yep and we have our connectors in order to connect it to the power. So um, that's our power supply connector there. And here's the LF guys. The LF comes with a couple extra things. So for one, you are gonna get uh, some tubing for your air assist there because this uh, module does support air assist. We're also going to get our connector for power. We've got our laser shield here, similar uh, more to the 2-2 than the magnetic version that's found on the 2-4. Here we've got our longer focus and all of our air assist parts. So we've got air assist nozzles and things like that, little connectors and things for our hoses. So we can set that aside. And once again, in our anti-static packaging, uh, which again, I really like that they pack these in anti-static packaging, uh, we have our LF unit. So um, we'll go ahead and open that. And here it is guys. So again, this is a 5.5 watt beam, but it's a longer focus. So it's better able to cut through. Yep. This would be like using um, your on four, four inch, inch. Yep, on yep. your CO2, exactly, exactly. And this just pops in here like this and it's got two little things that lock it onto the side. So that's kind of how that'll sit. So we have now the 1.6 watt 2-2, really, really small dot size, right? Weak Next, power. very weak power. Yeah, so you have to go really slow, yep. right? Next up, we have the 5.5 watt module. This is the LU2-4. This one is short focus. So this is for marking, not for cutting. Yep. And this gets slightly better detail than this, but not anywhere near this either. It's kind of like the middle of the road, you use it for everything, right? Yep. Then lastly, we have the 2-4 LF. This is your long focus module. This one is specifically for, for cutting, cutting with your air assist supplies, yep. okay, as well. So those are our three modules right there, guys. Um, and then we have one final module here, which is really exciting. So let's go ahead and open that up and give that a look. So similar packaging, parts and instructions list. This is the LU2-10, or TUR's new 10 watt module. And that's why you have to have another power supply. So basically what this is, is this is a power supply for the 2-10, yeah. because it requires so much more power than the 2-4s that it's going to need a separate power supply. So this is actually gonna plug into the wall and then feed power directly to the diode. Gotcha. Yeah. There's your... So this is used for cutting also. This is like 10 watts. This is like for deep engraving and cutting. Gotcha. So again, in anti-static packaging, there is our power supply essentially for the 10 watt module, which we will affix. It, it basically sits here on the slider so that it slides around back and forth. You know what I mean? Yep. So it'll move with the, right. the unit. This, we have more air, air more air assist tubing right there. Power supply. Yep, so there's our power adapter. And again, this requires its own power adapter because it's so much more powerful than the units that this machine was designed for. So, so it actually has to be plugged much, in separately. Two amps. Right. And this is a- Mounting right, plate right. for the- that gotcha. this for this guy yeah more zip ties, zip ties cable screws, management yep air assist parts yep okay screws assembly screws mm -hmm. your cable and here's the cable 
Oh, that's your nozzle. Yep, so air assist nozzle here. And then here is the 10 watt. So this is the Orcher 10 watt diode laser module. That's the, that's the that's nozzle, the, isn't it? That's the air assist nozzle, yeah. And here it is, guys. This was everything that we got with today's delivery. Mm -hmm. So the off Ferro Laser 2 uh, looks pretty decent. Yeah. It's not as heavy duty as the X-Tool, but it definitely seems like it is capable. So we're gonna have to get it put together. The one thing that's still killing me, I just, I have to note it right now, is the lack of limit switches on this is just driving me nuts. Uh, so, you know, that's gonna be a, a big issue for me because I'm so used to having limit switches on my diode lasers. But uh, that said, you know, we've got a lot of cool Orcher laser diode modules to check out. We've got the 1.6 watt 2-2, the 5.5 watt 2-4 SF and LF, and we've got the 10 watt diode module from Orcher as well, along with all of this complicated stuff that we're apparently gonna have to set up in order to yeah. use it. That's a big bummer. I thought it would just kind of be- Plug and play. Yeah, because all of these you can hot swap between. This one, you're gonna need to do a little extra setup and uh, we will certainly be talking about that in our full review, guys. But there it is. So uh, we're gonna go get this set up and then we're gonna start testing so that we can offer you guys a full review on this unit. What do you think overall? Looks like a nice unit for the money. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And mm -hmm. uh, so that's the unboxing, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Laser Everything. If you got value out of it, don't forget to smash a like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we have an unboxing for you. It's not gonna be that long because we've still got a big old pile back there. Yep. If you guys love the channel, don't forget to sign up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. You get bonus episodes of the podcast, bonus live streams, and a whole bunch more. It is a great place to go yep. to learn laser, and it allows us to continue making content like this. We wouldn't be able to make it at all without the supporters that we have over at the Laser Master Academy. So thank you if you've signed up. If you want to check it out, you can head over to masters.lasereverything.net. You ready to go to bed, old man? You're looking a little tired. I'm pooped. Yeah? Yeah. Funky donkey. Funky donkey's all funked. All right. That's the, uh, that's the cue, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. That's all I've got. Peace. And we will see you in the next one.